Okay, I have an original routine to share with you today. It involves the four queens and the four kings, as you can see on the table here. And just to give my more experienced viewers a glimpse into what we will be doing, let me just show you uh, part of the secret here, okay? So what we're going to allow the spectator to do is choose one of two tracks. And this is a completely free choice. So for example, the spectator can ask to have the red cards separated from the black cards at the end, or the queens separated from the kings at the end, okay? Now the veterans to my channel will recognize that relative to card color, if we randomly stack these two piles of four cards, we'll have a Bessie sequence of order eight relative to card color. And that will prove helpful for track one. And then for track two, we'll just have to perform one additional but simple step to put it into the same kind of organization relative to queens and kings. Okay, so let's get started. So let's say the spectator decides that they want to separate the queens from the kings. Okay, so essentially they've asked for track two first. Okay, that's fine. So what we can do is we have them randomly stack these two piles. Okay, it's a free choice. Okay. And now all we do is we do this triangle deal. Do you remember this? Deal them out in a clockwise fashion. The first card to be set to the table, which is right here, you pick up that pile first and then go in the opposite direction, counterclockwise, okay? So now it'll be a Bessie sequence relative to queens and kings, okay? As I'll explain in the tutorial. Okay, and then from here, we can go ahead and have the spectator mix the cards to their heart's content. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just deal out the cards into two piles with random stacking decided by them. Maybe they want right on left, that's fine. Pick those up again. Maybe they want right on left again. Okay, now you can actually have them do all of this dealing, okay? as long as they don't like drop the cards everywhere, maybe they want left on right. Now you need to know as a performer, you can perform as many of these left right shuffles with random stacking of left on right or right on left as the spectator calls for, you truly can, okay? And then after they're content that they've performed the LR shuffle sufficiently, we're going to perform just one other shuffle to their satisfaction. It's called the Klondike shuffle. This is where you take the top and bottom cards off as one, okay? And they can do one of these or 20 trillion of these. It won't hurt anything, okay? So they just tell you how many to do. Maybe they want three, that's fine. Okay, let's just quickly do a third one. Okay, and now they wanted to separate the kings from the queens, right? So we just perform a very simple spelling routine, okay? So what we do is we spell out four, F-O-U-R, kings, K-I-N-G-S, and four, F-O-U-R, queens. Q-U-E-E-N-S. And you will have separated the kings from the queens. Okay? So let's just kind of show that here. There are the, here are the four queens. Okay? And here are the four kings. In fact, before the spelling, if you had just glimpsed the bottom card, you would actually know which pile has the kings and which pile has the queens, if you wanna just add that as kind of a surprising element. Okay, uh, the second one, we begin with a similar setup. Now, I may not remember the exact um, original ordering that I showed you, for the first little performance uh, because I really didn't keep track. Um, I think it was something like this. Okay, so you have the four kings, but you have two black ones on the outside and two red ones on the inside. And then for the queens, you do the opposite. Two red on the outside, two black on the inside. Okay, so for track one, we're going to separate the reds from the blacks, okay? Now, what's nice about this particular case 
is randomly stacking these, which is what we ask the spectator to do, will create a Bessie sequence of order eight. Now, why that's nice is it means we won't have to perform that triangle deal. Okay, that, so that's kind of nice. Um, now, so this is a Bessie sequence relative to card color. So look, black, red, red, black, red, black, black, red. Okay, so you can skip the triangle deal and then you can just go immediately into left, right, shuffling with random stacking decided by the spectator. Once again, they can actually do this if you, you know, trust them in handling the cards, right? Uh, if they have enough dexterity to do that, they can, in fact, they can do all of the shuffling if, if they're able to. Maybe they want right on left, okay? And so once again, you can do one of those or millions of them. It won't hurt anything. And then you say, well, the left-right shuffle is a great way to mix cards, but another way that's completely different is something called the Klondike shuffle. This is where you take the top and bottom cards off as one, okay? Now, we can do as many of these as you like. How many more would you like me to do? Just one more? Okay, that's fine. Top and bottom off is one. Okay, very good. Okay, and now to finish, we're going to use a special spelling system. Since you've asked for a separating of the reds from the blacks, we're going to just spell out those words. So I'm going to spell out separate. S E P A R A T E. Set down the next card. Reds R E D S from F R O M. Blacks B L A C K S. Okay. And as I mentioned before, if we had peaked the bottom card, which I kind of forgot to do, but you could do, you'll know exactly whether you've grouped together the black cards on one side, like which pile contains the black and which one contains the reds. But the fact is you did indeed accomplish the separating of the card colors here. Okay, so let me just show you that right up. Uh, in its entirety, so you have the notes here to refer to. Okay. So you just begin with a, a Bessie sequence relative to card color, where first half are all queens, the second half are all kings. You ask for the spectator to randomly stack those piles of four. Now, depending on what the spectator asks to be separated, if they ask for reds to be separated from blacks, then you're on track one, which is right down here. If they ask for the queens to be separated from the kings, you're on track two right here. And really, the only difference with the procedure is if they choose to separate the queens from the kings, you have that additional triangle deal, which is needed to convert it to a Bessie sequence, which will then protect it from, well, many, many shuffles, but these two shuffles in particular. Okay, and then when you've mixed the cards to the content of the spectator, whether it's track one or track two, you're going to perform kind of a spelling routine or spelling system. I do want to point out a subtlety that's important. When you separate the reds from the blacks, removing one card to the bottom for each letter, including the E, and then the next card goes down. And then you do R, E, D, S, and then the next card goes down. Now that's in contrast to the four kings, four queens. What we do here is we do F, O, U, and then on the letter R, you set down that one card. And then you do K, I, N, G, and then when you get to S, set down that card. And same thing with four, when you get to the R, set down that card. Queens, when you get to the S, set down that card. Okay, well, I thought I'd share this with you. A really fun routine because you're giving the spectator tremendous freedom right from the start to decide exactly what's going to take place in the routine. So thank you for watching and I encourage you to take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.